Hello guys and welcome back to another live at Voice of Crypto with Debit Blonde. Today we're talking about decoding the current crypto market trends. Before we get into any content, I would like to remind I am not a financial advisor, so none of this content is a financial advice. With that said, don't forget to join our Telegram, like, comment and share this video. Let's go straight away to the Bitcoin price and see what's commonly playing out there. We had a massive, massive dip on a crypto price, but today the current price of Bitcoin is sitting at 58,000.099 at the moment. And I'm actually looking into the daily because I'm not trading Bitcoin today, just waiting a little bit more on this bottom apparently apparently we have a bottom but on my perspective i would like to wait a little bit more on a long-term talking it's always a great idea to accumulate and buy bitcoin but if we look into the bearish um target i would say 44 to 48 would be the correction as you see we are um struggling to hold at the support i would say so i think the best option on the trading side today is to hold okay but everybody has a different opinion and that's why you have to do your own market research but we are going to have a look in a couple of different opinions guys if we don't hold the support we have the massive chance to we test 48 or even lower, okay? However, if you feel like you can and you want to do a long, you can long, okay? Just remember to place your stop loss 15% or 20% below the bottom, okay? But, however, if we hold a green candle here, everything will change though because that is a sign of us holding the support one more time okay so the best option is to wait sometimes i am not rushing into any trades it really depends on the market conditions but moving into ethereum ethereum is looking a little bit better than btc today um we are at 3000.112 at the moment on ethereum and apparently we're holding also, okay? But if we break support, you know the downside would be somewhere around 2,400. But apparently, we are holding, as I mentioned, we're small. If we hold on BTC and Ethereum, you could potentially make a new long, and that is on a daily. So personally, I'm waiting to open my new long. Okay, moving into another coin that I am currently playing, the DCA, it is INA, okay, as I mentioned in our previous videos, um, I am looking into INA on a long term, okay, I'm not trading INA, this is only on a long term side, but not, what can I say, um, we survived a massive crash here and it seems to be a double bottom and a double bottom is commonly a bullish sign so that's the price that i have entered and i am commonly holding into 0 0.60 0 0.69 it really depends we had a massive massive crash on this one so when it comes to these old coins and meme coins and small coins, it's more than Bitcoin and Ethereum, you've got to be really, really careful, okay, because they move really crazy. So if you are trading in it today, be aware. But if you are holding or just, you know, accumulating to the long term, it is a better option really because they they are extremely volatile and i made some great profits from trading in a, from this double bottom but i am more on a holding side as i mentioned but moving into coin market cap yesterday we had a post from spot on chain the btc etf net inflow on july 9 
was plus 216 million. The net inflow has been positive for the three consecutive trading days, all with the high net inflows. Guys, let me just double check if you can hear me on Binance on everywhere. Great. Uh, let me know if you want me to uh, have a look in any old coin that you like to see. Okay, we have a comment. Rohan, hello. Thank you for your support as usual. He's always supporting us and also guys on Binance. Thank you so much. Let us know what you like to see on a channel. Okay, moving back to the spot on chain post. BlackRock IBIT continued leading the lead leaderboard with another large inflow of 121 million. Great scale GBTC, however, so an outflow of 37.5 million again after just one day of inflow. Follow spot chain wherever they were just promoting that company but you so you can see here we have massive massive numbers according to spot and chain moving back to today's cryptocurrency prices by market cap today's cryptocurrency prices it is the global crypto market cap is up two point is currently at 2.14 trillion a 1.22% increase over the last day. So nothing that crazy, really. Fear and greedy index is quite turning into a neutral side, 40 at the moment. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if people are quite confident today. But moving in to the latest article, according to Cointelegraph, three reasons why Ethereum price continues to underperform against BTC in 2024. Ethereum price continues to underperform Bitcoin. Cointelegraph explains why. Ethereum started the year strongly but began tapering off in mid-March. Although the Ethereum picked the momentum in mid-May amid anticipation of the approval of the spot Ethereum ETF in the United States, it has underperformed BTC. Ethereum has surged approximately 60% over the last 12 months compared to BTC 87% gain in the respective USD pass. And here we've got the Ethereum Bitcoin year two-day performance sourced by TradingView data, a new digital assets, insights and market trends report, a joint publication from the SME group Glassnode reveals some of the reasons why Ethereum has been underperforming BTC um, through 2024, as discussed below, Ethereum continues to trend lower against BTC in 2024. Data from Cointelegraph Markets Pro and TradingView reveals that ETH has experienced relatively deeper correction in 2024, with the largest drawdown being 31% between March 12 and May 1st. In comparison, Bitcoin dropped by 23% over the same period. And we, we've got to hear the data from Ethereum USD daily chart and BTC USD daily chart sourced by TradingView. Zooming out, the drawdown profile on ETH has experienced relatively deeper correction compared to Bitcoin, with the largest drawdown in the 2022-24 cycle being minus 42%. First, fair previous cycles have seen corrections exceeding minus 65%. During both the yearly and the later 
face of the macro bull market. The glass node CME group report also noted that the Ethereum BTC ratio was continued to decline during the 2023-24 cycle, suggesting that the general investor risk appetite is still low for the current cycle. According to the chart below, the Ethereum BTC ratio has trended lower since the merge, making a period where Bitcoin outperforms Ethereum, a scenario that is still playing out at the moment. And here we have another data sourced um, by Glassnode, Ethereum and Bitcoin ratio. The report records a number of reasons for if underperformance, including the approval of Spot Bitcoin ETF in the US in January 2024, and the increasing competition from other proof of stake blockchain. Nevertheless, nevertheless, sorry guys, never that let's such a tricky name, which the inauguration of the US Spot ETF for Ethereum, this might create a catalyst for a reversal in the downtrend. The Ethereum realized volatility in 2024 remains below previous cycles. Using on-chain metrics from market intelligence firm Glassnode, the report analyzed the market value Re realized value MMRV ratio to gauge the overall profitability of investor. The MVRV ratio tracks the divergence between the market cap and the realized cap and describes the average unrealized profit or loss held by the market. The report noted Although this metric has improved steadily since October 2023, its current value of around 1.8 is still way below the 6.2 and 3.8 peaks witnessed during the 2017 and 2021 bull cycles. And here we've got the data from 8th M. VRV ratio sourced by Glassnode. You can see the declining investor profitability, bear market, and then we had some sideways momentum and the improving profitability recover and the bull market. So it's an interesting one to screenshot and have a look as well. In comparison, the report shows that Bitcoin MVRV ratio at around 2.5, indicating that the average BTC investors hold larger unrealized profit than Ethereum investors. This means that the investors still value BTC higher than Ethereum and that they would rather put their money into the pioneer cryptocurrency than ETH. This sentiment is shared by K33 Research, who noted that Auto Ethereum has mirrored BTC's performance through the year with the Ethereum BTC ratio is tumbly trading near three years low, the market has underappreciated Ethereum potential. Key 33 Research Senior Analyst Vettler London wrote, we believe that the market underestimated the ETF, the Ethereum ETF effect and forecast that US Ethereum ETF will absorb 1% of the circulating Ethereum supply, similar to Glassnode and the CME group. Uh, Lance says he expects the Ethereum ETF effect could lead to ETH outperformance in the H2 2024. 
Ethereum futures traded volume trail Bitcoin. According to the Glassnode and CME Group report, future markets remain the prime, primary source of trade volume in digital asset market, generally being five times to ten times larger in the size than spot trading volumes. Although, if open interests remain higher in 2024, reaching an all-time high of 17.09 billion on May 29, as per Glassnode data, the WVAX trading volume still remains significantly lower than those of Bitcoin. High future trading volumes indicate high investor confidence and enthusiasm, which could lead to more buying and higher prices. The chart below reveals that trade volumes in the future market have picked up since October 2023, with Bitcoin seen over 34.4 billion in a daily contracts traded against Ethereum's 20.7 billion. Daily trade volumes of this magnitude are similar to the previous market cycle, although they remain below the all time high peaks seen during the first half of 2021 and here we've got the data from btc versus ethereum future trading volume sourced by glass node speed ethereum on the performance versus bitcoin analysts are optimistic that is poked ethereum etf will see if reach the new highs as some speculate that wall street will use as a bet on a Web3 growth. Others speculate that the spot Ethereum ETFs could attract more than 15 billion during the initial months, propelling Ethereum price to 10,000 during this cycle. This article does not contain investment advice or recommendations. Every investment and trading moves involves risks and readers should conduct their own research when making a decision. So I believe that Ethereum could do really, really well. And let's move back to the price once more so we can have a double look where Ethereum is at today, 3,112. And I believe everybody is hoping to see Ethereum at 10,000 at some point, and it is inevitable. But when this is happening is the question. I don't know if they are trying to manipulate this ETF conversation for, you know, a long time, really. But, of course, with Bitcoin adoption, we see a massive, massive switch in the entire market. But remember, guys, remember to do your own market research and stay calm because these players are coming to manipulate our market really, really heavy. And they do. OK, so. Let's move back to coin market cap. Let me just go into Binance. Someone is saying hi. Someone is saying hello. Hello, guys. How are you today? What do you feel about the market? Let us know on a comment. It's a lot happening, right? Nice to interaction. So let's go back to coin market cap. Top crypto gainers and losers today. We it's actually interesting to see meme coins and token movements. Uh, the top gainer today is MogCoin MOG, currently up 16.13%. It's interesting to see. Even with this drop, we have some great movements, I would say. Second place, we have ZK, currently up 10.26%. Third place, STX, currently trading at one47 has been up 7.57%. Optimism, flocky, somewhere around 7%. But MogCoin is the top one today. And if you are trading these moon coins, be careful, okay? They do have a crazy fatality when it comes to movement. Uh, we have Phantom, Audi, Sage, Tao, Sue, Arbitrum, on the six 
to 5%, C, 5.83% on a daily. Moving into the top losers, what are the top losers today? Uh, Flair on a first place is down 2.10%. We have Quant, Quant is down 1.42%. We have Brett, and this is crazy one too. Okay, I've seen crazy gains on this coin. Um, is down 1.39%. Chainlink, which is a great project and a potential one to start accumulating to the next pumps, 1.05%. Dog with a heart, we all know dog with a heart. It's doing pretty much um, well, I would say, at this cycle. So you want to track as well. Commonly trading at 168 and is down 0.54%. Multiverse, Monero, Casper, Hedera, what else? Um, CRO. Actually, I expected Kronos from CRO to move a little bit more and he's not doing much. And yes, guys, let me know if you have any specific or coin that you like to see. Uh, okay, let's move into CryptoBubbles.net. Okay, the market is not looking that great today, but the top gainer is Game Build has been up 24.7% on the weekly. What else? Top loser, Wolf down 41.3%. That's an interesting number to buy, okay? Land Wolf, commonly built on Solana. It is probably a meme coin I'm not very familiar with. We have Michi. Michi is down also 40.1% on the weekly. And you know, guys, anything around 40% would be an interesting buy. But remember to do your own research because meme coins and, you know, small coins can be tricky. So make sure to follow them, study about them, go to the Twitter as well, X formally, and try to see what is commonly behind these meme coins. But if you can manage to make profit, it's fine too. I just like to see at least if they have community, okay? Week 13.2% up on the octa space on the weekly octa octa i'm not sure hope um not not familiar with you can trade on max global apparently it's up 15.5 percent on the weekly let's move into the daily so the daily is not that bad for all coins and meme coins really we have game leading today commonly up 34.9%. We have Manaki, 16.1%. Mavia, 17.8%. Whoopi, Hopi, I don't know, 11.9% on a daily. And yes, guys, you know that I like to buy or sell based on the weekly. I just feel like it's more um stable data to track okay let me check if we have any comments or any inquiry so yeah apparently nothing thank you so much for you know being up and participating today let us know on the comments what would you like to see on the channel don't forget to join the telegram if you are in web3 you should definitely follow voice of crypto everywhere keep tracking these deals and let's see what is coming for the next days in the cryptocurrency market all links down below and i'll see you guys soon